What's up, everybody? We're back. Your two favorite guys, two ugliest guys. We got two things going on for y'all today. Someone's got to do it. We're going to do something quick and simple. Jason's got a recipe. I got a recipe. Something quick and simple for the Super Bowl. I know the Super Bowl's approaching, and if y'all want to try this out, you go ahead. I'm going to do a buffalo ranch chicken dip jason had some of the chicken left over from the other day when he did the rotisserie chicken video and if you haven't seen it go look down in our videos and watch the video and that's how he did the rotisserie chicken but we got that left over told him to save me son now what you got going today philly cheesesteak sliders that's another way of showing you how to do something that other people have done it's just the way i do it it's yeah. the way i like them uh, uh, bound boys yeah, that's Alabama right. boys, the way we like it. And, uh, I mean, sliders go with football. You yep. know, sliders, wings, dips. I mean, this is all stuff that, you know, you expect to see there. And, but these, we're just going to do a couple of them today. And Something quick and simple. That's it. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it because, you know. He's actually going to be using the Rectech Bullseye, correct? I am. For the majority of your cook. I'm going to use your Rectech 680 yep. to finish off my dish. But when we come back in the next segment, we're going to show you a little bit of how we've prepped everything, got everything ready, some stuff we've already prepped just to get it out there and get it simple and going. But we're going to show you his way to do the Philly cheesesteak sliders and my way of doing the chicken dip, buffalo chicken dip. That's right. But we'll see you back in just a sec. All right, here's my steak. Got a flake, flake steak. All I'm going to do, just put a little bit of olive oil on it. Obviously on both sides, just a little bit. You don't want to kill it because that'll become overpowering. Right. Casanova competition rub, this stuff is excellent. Really, 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 really good. Put a little bit of that on here. Not doing much. I just want it to be there. I don't want it to overtake it. This is Ben's heifer dust. I love this. This is one of my favorite, one of my favorite rubs. Again, I'm not doing a whole lot. And I'm just gonna do a a little bit on this side. I got the bullseye is already up over 500 degrees. I'm just gonna go a few minutes on each side, just to just want to get it done real quick. It doesn't even take long at all. I'm actually at 600 degrees. All right, so we're going now, and we'll let Nick show you what he's gonna be doing here in a second. But there's the first part. That part's done. What's up, everybody? We're back. Jason's doing his thing. We got his thing going. I've got the buffalo chicken dip, and I've already shredded the chicken that Jason had left over from the last video. I put a little minced garlic in there, and I put some uh, onions in there, but I'm also going to take about eight ounces of cream cheese and put this in there as well. And somebody said a saying here a while back, you know, we don't measure stuff around here. We just have our ancestors say, oh, that's just enough, son. So you want to take about a half a cup of ranch. You know, we're just going to pour it in here, let it go. And like I said, we're not measuring anything around here. So once I feel like that's enough, that's enough. We got our ranch and we got uh, some Frank's Red Hot original sauce we're going to put in there. And remember, we're not measuring. Our, our ancestors tell us when that's enough. But I'm also going to add a little bit of the uh, Ben's heifer dust, like Jason did, on his uh, steak to the mix, just to add it a different little flavor and kick it up a notch. But what we're going to do, we're going to mix this up real good and then uh, throw it on the red tech at about 350 degrees. So uh, see y'all here in a minute on the next set. All right, it's been right at four minutes. We're going to make it do a trick. It's going to flip. Watch this. Good. So I had to help it a little. There it is. I said we're gonna give it another three and a half minutes and it'll be done. All right, it's been about three and a half minutes. I'm gonna take her off, put it up here, I'm gonna wrap it in full, I'm gonna let it sit. Look at that. I'll tell you what, those sear marks, that's the bullseye without the grill grates. That's just regular bullseye. What? The pellet grills don't get hot, right? Nice. Alright. 
I put the onions and the bell pepper. I did a whole sweet onion and one bit large bell pepper. Saute them up just a little bit. And I'm gonna add the meat. And I'm gonna cook them all together for just a moment. Then I'm gonna go from there and I put them on the Hawaiian rolls and I'll show you that in just a minute. All right, so I got them mixed up. Got the onions, the bell peppers. Didn't want them to get mushy, so we got them still kind of crisp. Threw the meat in there. I chopped it up real fine, just cubed it. Just bring it over here. Throw it on those. Now, uh, what Nick suggested a second ago is we actually took and put the, uh, the bread in the, uh, the bowl for a minute, about four minutes actually, to let it get warmed up. And man, the meat tastes great. I think one of the best smells out there is onions and bell peppers together getting grilled. I love that. All right, so that's all nice and fine and dandy right there, but now we gotta put a little extra on there and make it stay together. This is mozzarella cheese. I love me some mozzarella. The mozzarella. Those on there. Can't have a Philly steak and cheese without some provolone. Boom. All right, so now, there we go. And then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna this is some, uh, just some butter I melted with some garlic in it. Love me some garlic. Just put that on there. All right. Still got the bowl going. It's at 350. Get that bad boy up. Let that ride 15, 20 minutes to melt that cheese. And once that cheese gets melted, it'll be done. So, see you in a minute. What's up? What's up, everybody? We're back. Everything's done. We've got the buffalo chicken dip that I threw on a smoker. We let it go for about 30 to 45 minutes. And we have the sliders, the Philly cheesesteak sliders that Jason made. But we got a special guest coming to try those out. We're not even going to try those. But when we do, we're going to see what they think about it. Because, I mean, you get tired of us trying it, trying it and be like, hey, that's good. But I'm going to tell you it's good no matter what it tastes like. I'll exactly. Right now. Exactly. But we're going to go ahead and try this buffalo chicken dip. Jason's already got some chips. You got you some chips. Oh, yeah, because I'm dying to try this. Yeah, we ain't even tried it. We had to let it cool off so we don't burn our frenulum. Yeah, that thing. <clears throat> but, uh, cheers, Cheerio, man. Frank's good, the ranch. That Frank's ranch. And that heifer dust is in there too, man. That's right, you did put some heifer. And in. I put some garlic in there. Mm, I love garlic. It tastes real good. I like it. I got one of the onions too. Yeah. Oh, lots, but, of, uh, lots of flavor. That was excellent. Yeah, it was. It helped being on the grill too. Yeah, but definitely. So you had your rotisserie chicken in there. Yeah. You put some uh, chopped that onions. That you did the other day. Yeah. Then you had uh, minced garlic. Minced garlic, some little bit of onion, like half an onion ish. Nah, yeah. Half yeah. an onion. And then uh, Frank's. Frank's and ranch and cream cheese. That's it. That's easy. That's yeah, all we you do. You don't get no more easy than that. All right. So I'm going to step back and I'm going to let you do your thing with these sliders. All right. Now, if I can get and my. bring in your special guest. If I can get my special guest to slide up in here to try the sliders, this is my boy AJ. Give me some love. Hey, Dad. My man. You left me hanging. That's all right. All right. So we're going to have him get one. We're going to try it. Uh huh. Pick it up. Yeah, that cheese kind of keeping them together, but I expected this. I was ready. So, there you go. This, looks, right. this looks good. Though. Get it right up. Yeah, runner. Get it. Yep, got a runner. You caught it. That's good. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> it's cheesy. It ain't easy being cheesy. That is really good. Really? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Give me some love. Boom. 
When did you learn how to cook? When did I learn how to cook? You slide your little butt out of here. <laughs> hey, go on now, take your slider hey, with you. Hey, give me some, AJ. That's what I'm See what I deal about. with? Mm -hmm. But it's always good to get your kids involved cooking. If you got any, I don't, but Jason does. So I enjoy having him around, hanging around, you know, like a bumblebee. Yeah, but he does it everywhere. We're gonna get him in here to do cooking yeah. this one time. I think we're gonna do a video with him. And, it, and uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you mash that subscribe button. And it, even if you got to, turn on that notification bell so you know when we post this video or any other videos, that way you can just, Boom. instead of waiting on us to post something about it, you can beat us to the punchline. Yeah, yeah. beat us to the punchline. Well, so. also, if, and look, we've got the Super Bowl coming up next week. <clears throat> Whatever y'all do, get pictures and recipes of what you're doing and join uh, Backyard Grilling and Smoking on Facebook yeah. and share your recipes with us because, you know, we always want to help each other out and just, I mean, we love food. Food brings it's everybody a, together. It's a community. It's a community. Yep. Yep. It's our yard, and we, we're, we're protective of it. So. But uh, I guess that's it. Are you gonna try some more? Oh, I'm going after this and get some more dip. Yeah, get some more dip. Yeah, yeah. man, that, that's it. Oh my goodness. Except you broke the chip. I broke the chip. <laughs> but on that note, we'll see y'all later. Thanks for AJ stopping by, Jason's little little man, little son, and we'll see y'all next time. And Jason, yard. Thanks, y'all. <laughs>